Oh uh, man. What's up, Jade Lynn? Yeah, so we're, we're going to be taking a look at uh, top eight. Uh, so, Incendiate versus Thermidor is the first match that was on here because Thermidor, Incendiate, uh, pretty much two of the East Coast finest for sure. Yeah. So, this was like one of the first big offline events that was open to the public. Uh, and, you know, we saw a lot of people like Yoshimitsu 6 and whatnot. But. Yeah, and Thermidor, super strong idea right here. So like, already Thermidor is like just 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 dictating the entire pace of the match. Like we just we just back up, let let Incendiate whiff. We've got a huge life lead because we're name our name is Nightmare. We just back up, let Incendiate whiff, sidestep, get the six B. Right, like this is kind of like the ever 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 since the very beginning of the set. That's kind of been like Thermidor's game plan, right? And this is this is like super strong because Nightmare already dishes out enough damage in the first place. Yeah, this this match is like over in a matter of seconds because of this. Well, I mean not not seconds because of this runaway, but <laughs> yeah, get your tire charge. I mean it's really up to Incendiate to make something happen on this. And I mean yo, the mix up from Zhang Wang. Oh my god, up against the wall. No way. Hold on. Okay. Still another chance though. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, the, the second that Thermidor got that life lead, that was just the way to go, for sure. Like, just immediately doing that. Okay. Let, the, let go of the reverse ledge just a little bit early there. Ooh. Oof. Okay, yeah. That was a complete turnaround. Basically just catching on counter hit. How, how many times did Thermidor get counter hit that entire game? Like, that that was a lot, right? So, like, one counter hit from the reverse ledge, right? Uh, that was a ducked under throw, so that doesn't really count. Another counter hit right there trying to interrupt the, the string. And then just, like, catches the low grab as well. Another counter. Yeah, that was all timing on that one for sure. That's like the classic caliber issues that a lot of people like run into, like myself included, of course. Uh, I, I get counter hit a lot just like because somebody has like gotten a read on my timing. And uh, versus Nightmare, he he has a lot of like, he has a lot of trouble fighting up close. Uh, well, I mean, he can have a lot of trouble fighting up close. And because of that, especially versus X, you know, like this is the kind of thing that might happen because of that, right? Yeah, and you can even hear him talk about it. Yeah, specifically the low grab right there. That That's just a straight, like... I believe this is a straight punish. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Uh, and this is where Thermidor had a lot of success before, was just being able to back up and be able to make Incendiate do what he wants. Uh, I think Incendiate's, like, recognizing what the timings was before that, though. Yeah, 2-2-B, immediate C. So it's not going to kill, obviously, but this puts uh, Thermidor in a check situation. He's It's all on him at this point. He's got Terra Charge in two bars, so, I mean, you know, it's, <laughs> it's definitely not impossible at this point. <laughs> oh my god, what a step right there! Not a real punish, though! Okay, that one is, though. Huge damage! God damn! 2A, soul attack. Yeah, this is... Okay. That was unfortunate, but I was going to say this was a good idea right here. Um, So, like, right here... Yeah, this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, So, so this was going to be a little bit different than my normal an analysis streams. Normally, with my analysis streams, I'm, like, really good about being able to uh, talk about, like, everything that goes on. But, I, like I said, I never actually watched this Top 8 live. So, I'm going to be taking a look at this and kind of learning from it uh, as it goes uh rather than the other thing but yeah so so right here i was getting ready to talk about um why this was really good at first and then an unfortunate decision afterwards so like right here um insidiate goes for the soul attack right so if you haven't played soul caliber soul attack just takes a bar uh the reason why i think this is good is because not only does thermidor have very little life left and soul attack puts you into soul charge state allow giving you extra strings it also is a thing where... You, okay, so he loses this round, right? When you lose the round after using a bar of meter... Uh, well, not after using a bar of meter. Just when you lose the last round and it's like... It's it's your potential uh, game losing round, right? For, for you, you get a bar back. And so that's why I think the soul attack is really good. Because for Incendiate, that opened up the possibility of being able to mix up Thermidor on this one. But luckily Thermidor, you know, was able to crouch block beautifully. Super good call out on that one. 
and then just get the resulting punish because I mean that's that's free for Nightmare, right? The low grab. Uh, that's one of his. That, that's like the only I twelve thing that he has available to him in that situation. Um, and so now this still puts Incendiate in an okay position for using that soul attack because he now doesn't bleed a bar away. He he just has a bar still, right? And so now they're even in playing field completely on this, uh, resource wise. Oh my god, dude. No, wait, what what button did, was that to be? Oh my god, you Okay. Oh, okay, right there. Yeah. The low. So I think that's her 1A. Uh it's been a little bit. I should pull up my notes. Uh I have I've I have the notes of all of her moves specifically because Jaguar is like a very popular character, especially especially during the online area uh era of when Incendiate was like destroying everybody, right? Uh that that was that was a character I tried to study really hard. But Okay. All right. So this is conditioning from the very first couple of rounds, actually. Right here, Thermidor is already ready to duck because Incendiate has pretty much almost always gone to low from Playful Stance. So he, he's just going to duck here no matter what, right? He's already expecting that. And I mean, think about all the mileage he's gotten from it. So unfortunately, Thermidor was not ready for that to actually be the option and didn't really get a punish off it. But it, it put Incendiate kind of in a shitty spot. Okay, full crouch 3B. Or 3A, excuse me. <gasps> 2 2 B got guarded back to by the CE. That should do it. Yeah. That's wild. <laughs> Fucking Conmai said Thermidor is such a terror. <laughs> Does he know what he just said? <laughs> Oh. They probably went to the wrong stage or something. I'm willing to bet. Let's go ahead and skip ahead. But yeah, so like the name of the game for Thermidor there was definitely like the spacing the second that he was able to get a life lead. Uh also just just the mix up opportunity was really unfortunate over and over again. Yeah, okay, so this is this is kind of how it is. Yeah. I mean like 6B, I've got the life lead. Gonna get my terror charge. Now you're gonna take a ton of damage. I'm gonna get my terror charge back on the 2A plus B. And we're just gonna, yeah, just kind of just wait and be patient. I mean, like, it's super good from Thermidor because in the previous game, the two rounds that he lost were basically run counter and just regular counter hit, right? That was, like, all incendiate, making it so that he was getting, uh, he was catching the timings. Oh, it's going to do so much god dude. Look at that damage. <laughs> super smart to go for the back throw, but now ring out territory. And yeah, I was going to say, there's not really like a reverse ring out that Nightmare can go to. So he kind of just has to leave. And Thermidor had the life to play with just to kind of leave that situation, especially considering Incendiate doesn't. But oh my god, not a big punish the jump over though. Oh my god, one more hit. 3A. Oh my god, the reverse ledger resistant pen. That was sick, bro. Oh my god. Oh shit, that was so good. And I held the full full charge on that one just to be able to get around. Okay. Yeah, I tried to walk forward. Unfortunately, that loses to verticals. Yeah, three A is not really gonna do too much in that situation. Ooh, okay. Never mind. I sp I spoke too soon. Terror charge right back here. Oh, crybaby got demolished! Holy shit, bro! <laughs> all right, all right. So you get the terror charge back here, right? Now, normally Incendiate has yet to go towards crybaby. So, like, I, I think Incendiate had, like, what would normally be the right idea here, in my opinion. Because crybaby is not something that's going to kill right now, right? Thermidor has a shit ton of health. So most people aren't thinking about crybaby. I feel like a lot of people, when they think about crybaby, they're like... I'm gonna when 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 Zhanghua has me around this range of health, like guts range, right? They're probably gonna start using Crybaby more because normally that's when like Zhanghua players are trying to sneak it in there just to get that like that kill or to put you into a check situation, and not the case here. Actually goes for it, and Thermidor is already ready for it, and it's just like just completely demolishes. Whoops, did I just turn on captions on accident? My bad. <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> That was actually wild. That was so much damage. All right. 
Good sidestep there, though. He's going to be able to go for the low. And again, yeah, Thermidor seems to just pretty much be only going towards low, right? If that, if that, if this, if this move ever comes up in any situation, right? Into playful stance. This is immediate Thermidor is just expecting low. Whether it be that he's going to go for the 8k, which is the, the hop kick here. Or if he just decides to duck, he's been doing it every time. Right. It, he hasn't really cared about the high option too much. Yep. Okay, soul charge up against the wall. Yeah, I mean... Again, th this is a basically an... Oh, that's good damage on this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, no! God! Okay, just barely not a rig out. Tries to go for the unblockable. Alright. So, again, if you don't know much about Soul Calibur right here, this is a situation where you, you'll notice that Thermidor steps a particular way after tossing Zhang Wa, right? So, Thermidor is going to step to the side. So, this is an attempt to make it so that it is completely horizontal and level with the stage. Um, and the, and the ring out potential, right? Uh, luckily, Incendiate made the right choice on stepping here. However, that didn't get him away, or not stepping, excuse me, uh, Ukemiing to the side. Uh, so that was like good, good choice number one. The problem is, is good choice number two did not have enough time to, to activate, right? So like the choice itself would have been good if he had more frames. Uh, and what I'm talking about here is that he, he recognizes that this situation is about to be an unblockable setup, right? Nightmare's going to do this move where he flips over, and then it's going to put the opponent in guard stun, right? He flips over twice. And so normally this is plus as hell. Well, not plus as hell, but plus enough, right? And so he's he's got a move that he can do afterwards while rising where he headbutts you. And so that becomes unblockable, right? And so Incendiate is so deathly afraid of it, tries to step in time... And you'll see this right here. Wants to step out of this. Because this is a vertical. The problem is, is you did not have enough frames that you just get conked in the head by his foot. <laughs> oh, that's actually godlike. That's so good. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. And so that, that was Insidiate's attempt at avoiding the unblockable. But the problem was, was didn't have enough frames by the time that he recognized what the situation was. So, like, first off, this was super strong for Thermidor just to try and make it level with the stage. Uh, and Incendiate smartly Ukemiing to the side to try and get away from this exact setup. But held guard just long enough that it's going to allow Thermidor to actually get this situ situation off where you didn't think it was actually going to be possible, right? So, yeah. That was just, yeah, that, that was just really unfortunate. Like, like again, I think, I think Incidiate had the right idea. Incidiate could have gotten out of that had he not second-guessed what was going on. But if you're in that situation, how the, how the fuck do you not second-guess what's going on, right? Like, how do you not, like, see this? It's Nightmare. Got you up against the ledge directly after he's gotten his, his terror charge. He's got a bar. He's got his terror charge. He, you know that Unblockable's coming. But you're like, well, could it be coming? Is he actually going to start doing 3A to, to try and catch my step away from this sort of thing? You know, that kind of thing, right? So, like, I, I, I understand. That that shit is not easy. <laughs> and this is this is what helped out Insidiate a lot before. was a lot of the, the counter hit fishing. Uh, just catching the timing of Thermidor, right? So, got a lot of life here. But when you're fighting Nightmare, that, yeah, that life total means jack shit. <laughs> okay, soul attack. He can soul attack again, so you kind of have to watch out. Those frames here. Yeah, that, that was an attempt to catch step, but yeah, caught the counter hit timing. That was super good from Thermidor. So it went into, yeah, yeah so it's Ramon versus Linkors. So I do know the outcome of this bracket, at the very least. So I'm not, I'm not going to be too surprised about some of the things that happen. And so, yeah, Ramon going with Sophie. Not terribly surprised. And again, ever since Link Wars decided to pick up Amy, I'm not super surprised. This is the second game that started on uh, Castle Austinburg. Oh, God. Oh, that's off axis, right? No! Oh, 
Yeah, trying to stop the disrespect of frames there, which was really good. Uh, I, this is like a rose round for Linkors, right? If you continue to get roses, you're, you're good. But at the same time, the roses will afford you the ability to possibly win the round. Like, now it's completely doable, right? And you've gotten three roses. So, so that round is not so bad. Um, that, that, that round is actually pretty, pretty, pretty okay for Linkors, I think. Ooh, beautiful duck. And yeah, now you're at four red roses. You're, you're, you're stocked up, right? You don't need white roses. You're, you're good to go. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I wonder if this is like so. So for when when you play versus Sofitia, a lot of characters have ways to cover six six B in multiple avenues, right? Because she can do three attacks directly after the launch, and in in this case, only did the one, right? So Linkors just immediately went to the three B A, which is really interesting. Uh, I, I don't know what Amy's option is to, to specifically cover every option there, uh, but I'm just curious. The time has come. Hey, Legendary Slug, thanks for the follow. Okay, one throw on the knockdown. Yeah, this is this is super common these days, is that people aren't really... <gasps> Wait, what? There wasn't enough frames to RI there? Hold up. Oh, okay, yeah, got counter hit, so that's even worse, I think. But... Yeah, 3A, or excuse me, 3BA. Nice block. All right, knowledge of the string, and then ready for the reverse ledge on top of that. Yeah, that was super good. Was just completely, re oops. Uh, yeah, there we go. Right. So right there, this is a, yeah, break attack. So you have to RI it, but immediately Linkors probably just saw the lightning flash and just reacted, right? Like, that, that doesn't even seem like a, because, like, she doesn't have to do that, right? So, super good from Lakers. Okay. Yeah, like, like I said, I think that first round was incredible for Lakers, despite the fact that he lost it, simply due to the fact that he had gotten so many roses so quickly. When, when you play Amy, the one thing that you have to recognize is that, like, uh, there, there's a good chance that you're going to lose, lose at the very beginning of the set, or the game. And you're gonna be fine with that because as long as you get the roses, you're stocking yourself up. Specifically, the red roses. Yeah. Ooh, three B A. Yeah, I was probably trying to expect, cause like, so I think three B A so far has has hit maybe I want to say once on the punish for six six B, and then another time on. Uh, no, I, I think that's the only time 3B has, uh, like, hit, right? So, so Ramon is expecting here that Linkors is probably not going to go towards 3B, or at least trying to take the advantage, or the, the chance on 3B not coming out and it just being 3B, because he's already so far behind, right? It's unfortunate that uh, the guess was not there, but you know. <laughs> Oh, well, 66A actually ducking out of the 5A. I mean, it is a high, right? So, all right. I want to talk about this. I want to talk about this simply because this pisses me off as a Zasselmel player and only as, well, I mean, Astroth players probably know this pain too. I don't know. Uh, anybody with slightly bigger of a body in this game knows this pain. This shit right here. You see this move? And then the rose here. Okay. If you are... Up close versus Amy, most characters don't have to block this rose. If you're a bigger body, though, <laughs> you do have to block this rose. <laughs> and then you have to play RPS afterwards. <laughs> uh, that's 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 just that's just me bitching because I'm a because I'm a slightly bigger body character. <laughs> yeah, six six A starting to put in a little bit more work. And then there it is, the run counters right on the three A. Oof. Okay. Soul attack. Yeah. Got to make something happen at this point. Was expecting the or was hoping for the duck, I should say. My goodness, Link Wars' Twitch ducks have been so good, but yeah, Twin Angel. Run counter? Wait. So so normally normally a lot of people resist impact here, right? On reaction to the uh, the Twin Angel step A plus B, right? But uh, I guess I guess got ended up catching a run counter on this one. I, I'm not sure if that was a misinput from Linkors, but, uh, I mean. 
There it is. There's there's run counter. <laughs> Can you can you actually step in time? Do you have enough time to be able to step? Yeah. Okay. So this so is like they they don't even know either. <laughs> Omega XCN and Combine are confused. <laughs> and Omega XCN is like super super knowledgeable about the game. So I I guess I can't feel too too dumb about this then. Back escape. You know. I, this is really common for for Sophie players. Like wow. after after throw tech, even even if they're like negative eight, which is you know the command grab throw tech, um, six six a is like super good, right? Because like if a lot of, a lot of people will try to go towards their fastest button after negative eight to try and catch you to stepping, it's so like a you know a five a or something, and six six eight does have the tech crouch. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that I think that's death, right? Because it's red rose version. No, I was wrong. Okay. It's still a lot of damage. God damn. Oh, running a. Okay, yeah. Now, what was really strong for Linkors there was twitch ducking and run counter, right? The the ability to contain step for Linkors, incredible. The ability to twitch duck on throws and highs, out of this world. Ooh, beautiful whiff punish right there from Father Ramon. Yeah, was able to get around the 3A. Yep, already three roses. This is this is ideal for Linkors. He can lose this round and just be fine with that at this point. And then the 3A, oh, 3B as well. Not opting for the fourth rose. Okay, gonna get it on this one? No, just goes for the damage, takes the round. I mean, you're gonna get the fourth rose anyway. At this point, at this point, the fourth rose is guaranteed, right? You're gonna have to fuck up something fierce not to get the fourth rows here. Oh, I gotta check in for uh, WNF. Okay. There we go. I've checked in for WNF now. <laughs> uh, okay, I need to rewind that real fast. I need to check this out. Double parry. 66AA. Blocks the 1K. And then, oh, there we go. The duck on the high there for Father Ramon. Okay. Yeah, and was again trying to interrupt uh, the 3B, and then, I, I, you know, hoping probably that it's not 3BA, but 3BA was there. Oh, just outside of throw range. Yeah, going to be able to get CE off this. Okay, so still alive, but it's the mix-up that's, that's the problem here. The mix-up might not even kill. It might, it might take two mix-ups, depending. Oh, but it's the launch. <laughs> yeah 6k 1k yeah th i mean like 1k is so strong for sophie i bet a lot of people are i mean like my, my, myself like specifically i'm i'm usually expecting 1k is like the mix-up opportunity okay 6b mix up oh and there it was yeah okay so link is finally not doing 3ba and that the, and father ramon not ready for it right 3a again to catch step an oh stepping out of the AMS transition goes for the back turn mix up. One B, dude. <laughs> BA, one yeah, that's an easy OTG finish off right there. Linkor is has so much bar to hasn't even been forced to use soul charge hasn't had to see on whiff, and that that's something that you know Linkor is really really strong at right. Uh, Linkor has incredible reactions and CE whiffs are whiff punishes are. Fairly easy, uh, I've noticed for him. The BBs. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you know, taking it back to small caliber is, uh, it's, it's kind of one of the best things you have to do, because you cannot leave, so you leave yourself open anymore. And you can tell that, like, Ramon is, is in a position where he's, he's, he's behind enough that, uh, one, one mistake could lead to some hellacious shit, but, oh, beautiful punish. Okay. Another one? Oh! <laughs> oh gosh, I wonder what he was doing. Let me let me see if I can figure out what he was doing just to be able to catch that. So throw attack. Okay. Frame by frame right here. Or is this the next throw? Okay. All right. Throw attack. Oh god, was he? The, it looks like just a five A. I think he's trying to five A there. He's probably just trying to use the frames, but. 
or disrespect the frames, excuse me, not use the frames because he had he had the, he had tech the grab. Ooh, beautiful parry on that one. Yeah, soul attack. You, I mean, you've got so much meter. <gasps> Caught the dead trap. Oh no! Look at the damage because of that. Yeah, that is that is not a situation that you can uh, you can find yourself in right now, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, a bit of hesitation there from Ramon. Yeah. He's able to try and use the frames, get the plus right there. No reaction from Linkors this time, and yeah, out of soul attack. Oh, the miss on the 6k! Yeah, that was scary. Yeah, so, first time we didn't get Castle Austinburg first. We ended up in the desert stage. Slide Tiger's been doing really, really well uh, in a lot of the online events so far. Really nice to see everybody offline again, but ooh, yeah, that's a big drop because I... Cervantes is a character that steamrolls, in my opinion. He he, he steamrolls really, really hard. Because uh, he th th this man is do out here doing damage. Strike throw mix up. <laughs> Combine, Combine's even trying to mention it. <gasps> Back throw. Oh, you're done. <laughs> that, that is like the least, like, vicious back throw, I think, out of most characters. Ah, uh, well, I mean, I guess that's not true. He does stab you, right? And then he just kind of kicks you off the swords. But... Yeah, yeah. Combat brings up a really good point. Is that like the um, the two players are both like very fundamentally strong, right? They, they they try to play fundamentals to the core, right? But the character aspects is they have to play the fundamental aspect a little bit differently, and that, that that's the really nice part about like the the character variety in this game, and the the amount of movement, right? It opens up a lot of more a lot more ways to do things. Oh, what a beat right there! Cancels the reversal edge. All right, so, you know, you already, you try to sidestep and you want to press a button as fast as possible, right? But you're always trying to get your biggest punish. Well, luckily, Sly Tiger just has the frames because you specifically try to go for the launch to be able to dodge that, get the lethal hit on the dodge. It's not, like, huge damage, but it is way better than not only taking that hit and you also get the meter from the lethal hit, right? Because, like, a lot of people forget that lethal hits are really strong, not just because of some of the damage that you get, but you also gain a chunk of bar from that, right? I think it's usually a fourth of the meter that you get. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but you get a lot from just lethal hitting somebody over and over. <laughs> and then the same situation. This time it was duck under the high, I think. Okay, let's check that. That was a slide B? So it just hit before. Okay, so never mind. That doesn't duck under the high because that's a that's a vertical mid. And so that, that, that just ended up hitting before the duck... Wow, that that okay, maybe maybe not so much the uh the call out, but definitely uh re really good timing from Sly Tiger for sure. Yeah. This is it's it's so weird to see A6 be A6 and 2A plus B have been a bit more ineffectual than they usually are in most Cervantes matchups. I feel like those are like the the killer moves, right? Ooh, yeah, I tried to get the slide, but okay, that's still a punish, though. No problem. And you have to look at Sly Tiger's guard bar at this point, right? So, like, earlier I was mentioning that this, these things are kind of ineffectual. Uh, the, the the 6A, or the A6, and the 2A plus B, right? But they're adding the guard damage onto Sly Tiger. So he can block these all day, right? But eventually he's going to get opened up because of that. And so Soul Charge is out, and I think Ender's J is, like, right, smelling blood, right? It's like, if you're going to sit here on block, I'm just going to start taking that advantage. Ooh, I, I'm not sure what input that was supposed to be, but I don't think it was that. Build-a-bear combo? <laughs> oh, no, that's death, yeah. <laughs> that shit's free at that point. Build-a-bear combo. Good lord, Conmai. <laughs> what a god lord. Okay. Yeah, I I think this is this is probably the makes sense for Sly Tiger, right? You want to you want to stay on a small stage, and the chance of randoming into a bigger stage is far greater than randoming into a, a stage that is either equal to or smaller than this. 
Yeah, just backing up. Don't really need to do a whole lot. Yeah, at that point, it's all on Ender's J to make something happen. There's so much of a life lead. Slide Tiger has to feel very comfortable. Ooh, beautiful step right there. Okay, missing. Oh. Yeah, that's that's really unfortunate. No IDGR. Yeah, even even if that didn't kill, that was a straight ring out on that one. So. Oh, got caught of the IGDR. And then the RE comes out, and there it is. Okay, so that time actually did duck under the high IGDR. Okay, it actually connected. Hmm. Forcing the soul charge here. Well, maybe not so much forced as as Sly Tiger is uh, trying to maintain advantage. Not gonna ring out. Oh, but that will. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Not and that going for IGDR. No chance of ringing yourself out. All right, just two A plus B. Finish it off. I mean, Enders has two bars, right? So like, ideally, you want to be able to take this next game right here, which. God damn, the small calibers ca catching so much counter hit. Oh man. Okay, that's that. Yeah, caught the back step. And yeah, that's already match point so far. That was quick. And this, I believe, this has to be losers uh, because the the I assume the first two matches were the winner sets. But yeah, six A B. Ooh, yeah, disrespect the frame 2A, and then, yeah, that's super smart right here. Oh, wow, just barely hit when uh, when Sly Tiger was on the ground. So that, that, that was really lucky for Sly Tiger, because, you know, again, if you haven't really seen much of Soul Calibur, um, when somebody Soul Charges, the when the hitbox connects with the opponent on Soul Charge, if they're in the air, it it's a hard knockdown, right? Luckily for Sly Tiger, it got one little toe right there on the ground, so everything's gonna be a okay. Just a knockback, right? Just plus eight rather than like plus a billion. <laughs> and then you get shot in the back for your troubles. <laughs> okay, soul charge. Soul charge is actually forced this time, and then the critical edge. Okay, zero on block. And then right back into soul charge. Yep. Ooh, that's a punish. Oh my goodness. <gasps> the wall rising. Oh, no way. The mix up right there. And then again with the low. That is a, uh, that, this is a rare situation. You never see this move connect, but uh, we did see it here. <laughs> That's what happens uh, when you try to, so I think he just tried to stand up and block. Uh, although he did get stunned. I don't know if that move like naturally stuns or if that move is only stunned on. Yeah. Okay. Well, unfortunate. Oh, Boom versus Saiyan? Oh, shit. Yeah, let's go with this one. Yeah, so... Is he actually going Huang, or is he just picking this? Okay, he has to go Huang, because we're in stage select. Alright, so Boom. Uh, a bevy of characters under his belt, but uh, Saiyan is pretty much the IV connoisseur, the, the savant of, uh, of the sword, if you will. And uh, Huang, Huang's one of my favorite characters in this entire game. So, and these are two of my favorite players, actually, in Soul Calibur 6, like, period. So, really happy to see this. Really sad to see it, that it's, uh, somebody's getting knocked out <laughs> right here, though. That's the problem. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, Ivy is a command grab character. And uh, if you don't know the input for her command grab, it is mad crazy. Uh, it is it is insane, right? So immediately starting out with this at round start that, and he was ducking for a second too. That was a twitch duck, so he just stood up into it at the last. Bruh, <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> oh yeah, well, rising B, okay. That's a, that's another really nice part about Ivy. So so she may have had her reverse ring out kind of kind of nerfed um in in several patches throughout the years, but uh, it still exists, right? And so that, that that move is not just for that, but oh, got the lethal hit. That's gonna do it. Yeah, that's a 
That's a heartbreaker right there. And he does not even have a talisman on. I'm, I guess he hasn't had a chance. I don't know if Boom feels there's any other reason to go for anything other than Devastation. Uh, but I guess we'll find out, right? Devastation is kind of like an all... An all-encompassing talisman, I feel like, in most matchups. You know, you, you want to usually have at least one talisman on because you would like to be able to get to... Uh, to get the damage boost from having talisman on but you know I, I think he's just he's trying to use just trying to use his uh his life force specifically for the extra moves but oh no big hit right there not gonna ring out but yeah tries to go for the mix-up i like that so so right here this combo route normally goes into i uh, went a little too far back this combo route normally goes into the hit grab right the little arrow toss right but Saiyan actually just backing up and going for a possible lethal hit opportunity. It didn't work out because um, Boom tried to roll, I think. So, you know, stayed on the ground and got hit. But if Boom got up and guessed wrong on this or the low grab, you know, that could have been either lethal hit or... It, no, no matter what, Sane basically just put him in shitty situation, right? Like, in, in all avenues. Oh, god damn. The buffers are real. Buffering the command grab and just about everything. You, it's kind of hard to tell when Sane is actually going to be able to get command grab. Oh, man. Yo, okay. Yeah, Sane had enough. <laughs> Look at the damage, too. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. There, There is very few uses of this move right here. But Sane pulled it out beautifully. Yeah, Omega XCN is even tiger. Like, it's... like and a, a lot of people, like, I, I feel like one thing you'll notice, too, is a lot of people, when they fight Ivy, they, they, 6-6-A is something that happens so much, right? People are so, so deathly afraid of Ivy 6-6-A, or, or the Ivy player will be so hungry to 6-6-A. Notice how Sane is just barely ever using it. Like, it's, it's all about the... He's playing much more of an, uh, a mid-range to up-close fight than he is playing a long-range one. Okay. Oof, yeah. This is this is the problem. This is in Soul Charge. You have to deal with all of the break attacks. Okay. Guess right on the block, at least. Gotta watch out for my sword. <gasps> Beautiful duck on that one. Yeah, so that, that's that's one of the hard parts about fighting Sane. And, you know, we mentioned that earlier is that Sane, you know, buffers the, the command grab in just about everything. Uh, whether he feels he's actually going to let it rip is another story. And boom, finally ready for it. Ooh, yeah, great punish. Not going to be able to get everything, but it's fine. Okay, finally. So so now we have Devastation on. So getting the damage boost here. <gasps> Tech crouched under the command grab. 6-6-A is not going to work out. And uh, I I wonder if I'm smelling a hint of uh, of desperation from Saint. Because, again, 6-6-A was not happening at all up until this point. Well, damn near anyway. Oh, yeah. Mix up on the talisman right there. And that was a complete turnaround. Boom with the composure for sure. Yeah, super good spacing to be able to get away from the 6-6-A. Yeah, I can't remember what his 3B is on block, but I'm pretty sure it's punishable. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is aggression central, right? Okay, devastation. Just, bro, the spacing from Boom is crazy. Uh, that's not a ring out, is it? That's so f far. Okay. Yeah, this is the one A. Okay, gets the punish on it. Mix up opportunity. Gonna catch the step too. And I mean, Boom has has been mixing it up a lot uh, on on this situation. So like, if you've ever never fought with Huang. Right, the situation right here, he can do three things. He can do the gale, which is a horizontal. He can do the uh, the the toe tap, which is the low, and he can do the mid lightning bolt. Right, and so the gale is supposed to catch your step. The low is a you know, the low is the low, and the the lightning bolt is the the mid. Right, and so he has been mixing that up so much that uh, that Zane actually is is definitely second guessing a lot of options there. Just by playing so aggressive. 
Yeah, he's only going to lose a little bit of health, but that was completely worth it to use that many talismans for sure. Like, B Boom's life force, uh, you know, I, when we first started, like, watching Huang, we were all like, oh, I don't know about going to negative nine, or I don't know about going to negative, like, eight, or, you know, six, or whatever. But it, the, the more we watch it, the better it seems every time. <gasps> that was a fake out. Can he block? Yes. Gets the punish. And then, oh, step. What? Bruh. That hitbox is gigantic. All right. All right. Oh, his arm is in it. Oh, shit. His arm is still in there. All right. I didn't notice that the first time. I thought for sure that that was not going to actually connect. But his arm was actually in the soul attack. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, even with all of that, um, he went to like negative six that round, right? Like, but because he activated, he he got some of that life force back, so he actually ended up uh, only only taking what is this like less than a third of his life? Yeah, like that that that's that's pretty good. One A on this one, one A again. Yeah, you know, I don't think one A has been represented too much actually this set. Oh, it's 650. All right, this is going to have to be the last game that we analyze because we're going to have to turn on Soul Calibur 6. Well, I mean, it's on Parsec, so we're, we're going to be playing in the WNF bracket. Ooh, the launch on that one, yeah. Going to get some life force back. And then, so if he's able to win this round, that's obviously ideal, but uh, he also gets the life force back regardless, right? Oh, big damage, though. Catching all the rolls. Basically just picking every OTG option. Got the hit. Another one. <gasps> Bruh. Okay, so Boom did not want to get up, right? Boom wanted to roll as much as possible right here. So it was really unfortunate already that the 1A didn't hit, right? That's, it's unfortunate, but it's not game-breaking at first glance, right? You, you, think, you think you're okay because you take this, you're going to take this extra damage right here. That's, that's not too much, right? Well, shit, uh, you can be back, and I took that, and then I rolled to the side, and I took that, and I rolled to the side, and I took the 1A, and then I got counter hit on the run-up, because Sane just beautifully fighting back. Yeah, great talk right there, but we'll, I guess was expecting the mid-option on that one. Ooh, catching step a lot. Yeah, I mean, Boom, boom is... Boom is uh is is switching from the disrespect of frames to the step catch game. Oh, another duck. Ooh, misses the just frame. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. That's not gonna give the Oki that Sane kind of needs. Oh, but yeah. Sane had been going towards the mid many times, right? So no block on the low right there. Okay, this is gonna be good damage. At this point, you just gotta spend talismans. I feel like, right? Oh, that should be death. Okay, one apiece. Damn, this is a good-ass match. <laughs> the clutch factor from the both of them is crazy. They, they, they keep composure. Damn, we are, we are stuck on the stage, huh? That's, that's, that's pretty sick. Oh, I went a little too far back, sorry. Or too far forward. Mm, yeah, there's a low option. Low again. Oof, that is, that is a rare move to see. That that was a hard call out. And yeah, catching the step. Because so he's gone low several times at this point, right? Oh, no. Yeah, the, the, this is where Boom just kind of needs to, like, can chill. I was going to say it should probably chillax, but uh, the step is getting caught. The lethal. Sane is insane. Sane is ridiculous, dude. <laughs> Sane is incredible. Oh my god! Caught the grab! <laughs> incredible. Yeah, Sane has not given a shit and has been doing an exact good job of that. Ooh, on the vertical, yeah. Not, not the strongest uh, positioning for Ivy there, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, duck under. Fire. He's getting baited. 
Soul Charge is out. Catching the duck right there with the mid. Okay, tried to cancel, but good mix-up right there. The 1K is... Oh, one at the back throw, but just a bit too far. Yeah, that would have actually gotten Boom back into a good headspace. Yeah. That back throw missing is really, really unfortunate. How did it move? I, I have to check this real quick. I need to see how how it moved uh, just far enough away. So it gets the 2A. 1K. 1K again. Okay, so here it is. Wants to get it. Oh, but the cancel takes her a little bit further forward. Okay. Got it. 2A, 2K. Sane is feeling it. <laughs> and again, still no talisman too. So like, I wonder if rejuvenation is the way to go here. Oh my god, again, another hard call out on the step twice, but that time it was ducked, so the second hit doesn't actually connect. That should be a whiff punish, right? Yeah. Okay, so you get life force back on this. Um, I know it looks like a use of meter, but it's, I think, an important use of meter, because negative six is way worse than uh, negative three. Yeah, because now, now you're back at negative one. You only took a little bit of damage. It was, it was a dollop. It was maybe not even that, but great interruption there from Sane. Show me your power. Yeah, up against the wall. Yeah, force the soul charge here. Oh my god! <laughs> Got caught out of the air! That was some Emperor's New Groove shit. I caught you right out of the air. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. breathe. Wait, yeah, yeah, this is this is still fine. <gasps> I god commentate his curse, man. Okay, wait, hold up. Mix up. It's the lightning bolt. Hasn't gone to lightning too much yet. Stop it, but the mm, the one A and sane, dude. Sane has the drip. Has the mix-up, has the strength, no matter where, no matter what. Incredible. <laughs> I try to have it as, like, basic as possible for myself, right? If somebody else kind of takes a look at these notes, they might be like, well, th these are fucking obvious. Like, this right here, right? Purple flashes means she's spending guard stamina. Holy Spite moves her gain guard stamina, right? This is fucking obvious to, like, anybody, right? But... When when I'm on commentary specifically, these this is something like that's like really 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 important, right? Because simply simply because of the newer players 